So in this example, this is 225 degrees. So it is perfectly valid to have an angle larger than 90 degrees, an angle larger than 180 degrees. Now, it's a little weird the first time you see that because usually in geometry, you're only talking about little angles inside of a triangle. And they're always these, uh, or often these little acute angles. But in trigonometry and pre-calculus and calculus, we have angles that go way beyond 90 degrees, way beyond 180 degrees all the time. So it is true that you do have a smaller angle in here, and we could define that. Um, by the way, it would be 360 degrees minus 225. That would be what this angle is, because going all the way around is 360. So if we subtract that away, that would be that angle. We're measuring counterclockwise from the initial to the terminal side, and it's, they can be large numbers like this. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.